hi everybody, my name is Caitlin and I am one of the sea turtle biologists from the South Carolina Aquarium Sea Turtle Care Center. Thank you so much for joining us today for these virtual visits and if you've been joining us all week, thank you so much for supporting us um, and supporting the care center by uh, maybe engaging with our Sea Life by Starlight uh, online silent auction. Uh, you can check that out at scaquarium.org slash slbs if you want to look at some of the auction items that um, I might kind of show you today um, or any of the others that we have offered um, on there. Um, we are going to do a cool little program today called Animal Art um, where we have one of our ambassador animals walking across um, some canvases with paint on them to kind of create a really pretty, um, very unique, every single one is totally unique uh, piece of art. And so um, we're going to show you that in a little bit and introduce you to Picasso, our artist today. Um, but we also have uh, a lot of options for different types of um, art through the Sea Life by Starlight online auction. Um, we have a really awesome piece from Nathan Durfee, who is a local Charleston artist um, that he gave us our, that piece of art. And so you can check that out online. Uh, but again, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, thank you so much for checking out that online auction um, and sharing these videos if you are um, able to share them online. Um, every little bit counts. So without further ado, I'll introduce you to our artist today. So today we've got Picasso, aptly named. He is a painted turtle. So we've got Picasso, the painted turtle, who's going to do some painting for us today. So he's got some really beautiful colors on him. Um, and that's where they get their name, the painted turtle, because they've got the little yellow on their head, the red underneath, and sometimes they even have some coloration on their plastron. So Picasso here, the painted turtle, is a, a native freshwater turtle uh, here to South Carolina. And uh, because of their habitat um, and their habitat range, they are susceptible to getting hit by cars um, and becoming endangered, uh, or not endangered, but um, sort of threatened in that way. And so if the female is trying to cross the road to get to um, maybe a really good nesting spot, uh, she does become very susceptible to getting hit by a car. And therefore, um, if a freshwater, even freshwater turtles need our help, we do sometimes take them in um, at the South Carolina Aquarium Sea Turtle Care Center. Even though we are called the Sea Turtle Care Center, we do take care of other species of non-sea turtles. So we have painted turtles, uh, snapping turtles occasionally. We'll also take box turtles and sliders. Um, and we, we just try to help them all out. Usually they're a pretty quick turnaround. Um, but this little guy, Picasso, he is here as an ambassador animal. So he lives at the South Carolina, at the South Carolina Aquarium uh, full time. And he is, an, what I said, an ambassador animal. So he's an ambassador for his species. So we use him for educational programs uh, to share the different uh, threats that the painted turtle species may face in South Carolina. Um, and today he's gonna get a little bit of enrichment in the form of animal art. Um, so I'm going to pause the video really quick so that I can turn it around um, and face it onto the art. Uh, so we'll be right back. All right, so as you can see, Picasso is down here in his little um, uh, painting area, paint, canvas area, um, enrichment space, whatever you want to call it. Um, but the really cool thing about enrichment is that we give the animals the mental stimulation and uh, the option to choose what they would like to do or where they would like to go. So Picasso here is oftentimes trying to um, sort of crawl around the edge of the enclosure or whatever, the, the little um, area here where we like to have him paint. And so uh, you will see me move him over just so that he doesn't accidentally fall backwards into the paint um, if he does climb up too much. But the best part about this is that he's got three different areas. So he's got his paint area and then his non-paint area. So this is an area for him to choose to go to if he doesn't want to engage with the paint. Um, and then we've got the canvases in the middle so that at least if, when he decides to go over to the non-painting area um, and hang out there, at least he's getting a little bit of paint across the canvases. Um, and we offer lots of different kinds of canvas sizes as well as these really cool ornaments here. So we've got um, ornaments for the holiday season over here and we do sell those in the gift shop at the South Carolina Aquarium as well as all of the canvases. 
and Picasso and some of the other turtles that we have here that do the painting, they are not the only ones who get the opportunity to paint. We have Sassy the Skunk, um, who also likes to paint sometimes. Uh, occasionally, the otters, Ace and Stono, will paint, um, but they are very picky choosy about when they would like to, um, but that's totally okay. We are just trying to give them a little bit of a change in their environment. So um, the paint over here can kind of stimulate, simulate, whoops, can kind of simulate the pluff mud or um, you know runny mud that the turtles would be walking through out in the wild um, and then over here in the dry area they can just sort of hang out if they want to but Picasso is a very active turtle and he just flipped over but that is totally okay we get the question a lot is the paint safe for them and of course the paint is totally totally safe for our turtles uh, while they are working in it and so it is a non-toxic easily washable paint so that we can clean them off easily with just a little bit of warm water once they are finished with their enrichment program. Um, and so it's not gonna damage them if they happen to eat it or if they uh, get it in their eyes and obviously all over their skin and their shell. It is a really common type of paint that we use that um, is used for finger painting with different um, age groups. And so with Picasso here, I said he's a freshwater turtle and so they can be really brightly marked and um, their markings can change over their lifetime as well. And we don't know exactly um, whether Picasso here is a male or a female because of his size. Once they get a little bit older and larger, we can decide or figure out, I should say, uh, what, their, uh, what their sex is. Um, but during this small uh, age range, we can't really tell. Um, just because they haven't fully matured yet. The painted turtles like to feed a lot on different types of small plants that are in the water. Um, sometimes once the turtle is big enough, sometimes they will feed on smaller animals than them, such as fish or other crustaceans um, and insects, and occasionally some um, uh, decaying material, whether that's decaying plant material or decaying uh, animal material and they can get up to 10 inches so he's still sort of a hatchling juvenile size uh, but they can eventually get up to about 10 inches in length which is a little bit bigger than this canvas size here at the aquarium uh, Picasso is going to be eating some small pieces of fish some mealworms little teeny tiny crickets and wax worms and those are really common um, types of uh, feeding um, feeder animals for lots of different types of turtles. Painted turtles can be commonly kept as pets, uh, but we highly recommend that unless you are an experienced um, animal caretaker and you really have a really nice setup that maybe a turtle isn't the best animal to keep in your home. Um, they can be very messy, very dirty, um, and they can live a very, very long time. And so uh, you really got to know what you're getting yourself into. The environmental enrichment program that we have here at the aquarium is uh, very extensive and very exciting for all of our animals. Um, we offer uh, enrichment to every single animal in the aquarium, whether they are big or small. And we can offer them a variety of different types. So sometimes it can be something like this that's changing up their environment and causing them to sort of explore a little bit more and walk around, smell, sniff, uh, feel the, the material under their feet. Um, but it can also be something to encourage um, play. So it can be a type of ball or maybe a different type of material that floats or sinks or sort of bobbles around in the water um, if they are in water. And that can be just as enriching um, as, it, as you would expect it to be. And so um, the most common type of enrichment that animals are given, he is just determined to try to climb out over there. The uh, most common type of enrichment is sort of like a food enrichment. Um, so it can be like a live prey item for whatever that species of animal is, or maybe it's, you know, their normal feed item um, like pieces of fish frozen in a chunk of ice. So they have to work a little harder to get to it. Um, that can be a really commonly uh, used type of enrichment. 
Um, and we offer that for all different types of animals, or all different types of animals. So it can be used for Liberty the Eagle, it can be used for the river otters, for the stingrays. Uh, we use it for the sea turtles all the time because it's the ice sort of bobs at the surface of the water. So it's a really fun enrichment item uh, for lots of different types of animals. So if you want to check out some more uh, options of, of canvases, we have some framed options on uh, the Sea Life by Starlight online auction. Um, they are bigger than this size, um, and we have them from a couple of different animals around the aquarium. I know there's a snake option, um, a skunk one, and then I'm pretty sure there's a turtle one as well. Um, so if you're interested in um, bidding for one of those um, sets of canvases, you can go online to scaquarium.org slash SLBS uh, to put in your bid on those animal art items. We also, like I mentioned before, have an item from a local artist named Nathan Durfee. And so you can go online and check that out and put your bid. But we also have lots of different other items. I'm sure there's something for everybody on there. So if animal art isn't your thing, that's totally fine. Uh, we've got lots of different options uh, from everywhere. And every single dollar uh, fundraised through the Sea Life by Starlight auction is going straight back to the Sea Turtle Care Center uh, to support our efforts in rehabbing and releasing sea turtles here at the South Carolina Aquarium. So uh, you definitely know that your money is going to be going to a good cause and we thank you guys so much because we really couldn't do it without you guys. And if maybe you're not able to go online and bid uh, for an auction item, maybe you can just share this video or tell your friends and family to go online um, and they can uh, put in their bids and really just get the word out. Um, there's lots of different ways to donate and support um, and every, every little option or every little bit um, does really help us out. So thank you guys so much. I'm gonna go ahead and get Picasso uh, cleaned up and um, I'm gonna thank you guys for tuning in again and we hope you enjoyed our talk today. Have a great one. Bye everybody.